Hello everyone. In our previous lecture, we have seen about introduction to graphs in data structures and algorithm. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about depth first search concept which comes under graph traversal technique. So before going on to the DFS concept, let us understand what is graph traversal. So graph traversal is a technique which is used for searching a vertex in a graph. It also decides the order in which the vertices are visited during the search process. And it finds the edges to be used in the search process without creating any loops. So there are two kinds of graph traversal techniques. They are depth first search and breadth first search. In short, we can call it as DFS and PFS. So in this lecture, we are concentrating on DFS concept. So DFS traversal of a graph will produce a spanning tree as the final result. So what is spanning tree means? It is a graph without any loops. So to implement this DFS traversal, we need stack data structure and the maximum size of the stack will be the total number of vertices in the graph. Now let us see the algorithm for implementing the DFS. So first step is Given the graph, we have to select any vertex as the starting point for performing the traversal. And we have to consider that vertex as visited and push it into the top of the stack. So next step is we have to consider the vertex which is at the top of the stack and find the adjacent vertices of that particular vertex. And we have to take any one non-visited adjacent vertex and put it into the stack. That is second step. So there might be many vertices which is not visited, but we have to take any one only and push it into the top of the stack. Next step three is we have to repeat this step two until there are no new vertices to be visited from the vertex at the top of the stack. So at one point, we are not having any new vertices to visit. So then what we have to do means we have to perform backtracking. Backtracking means we have to pop one vertex from the top of the stack. And uh, repeat these steps 2, 3 and 4 until the stack becomes empty. And finally, when the stack becomes empty, we produce the final spanning tree by removing all the unused edges from the graph. Now let us consider an example. So this is the graph utilized for implementing the DFS traversal. So it contains uh, nodes from A to G. So first step is we have to select any vertex from the graph as the starting point. We are selecting A as the starting point and considering it as a visited node. So if we are considering it as a visited node, we have to push it into the stack. So here is the graph and the respective stack. So we have shaded A as green color to make it uh, understand that we have visited that node and we are pushing this node into the stack. Next, we have to consider the vertex which is at the top of the stack that is A. We have to find the adjacent vertices of A and we have to take the a non-visited vertex. Non-visited vertex means which is not already visited. So we have to take only one non-visited vertex and push it onto the top of the stack. So for A, what are all the adjacent vertices? We have B, E and D. So all are non-visited but we can take only one. So in this example, I am taking B as the non-visited vertex and I am pushing it into the top of the stack. Next step, what we have to do? We have to repeat the same. Uh, we have to consider B now. So what are the adjacent vertices of B? It is nothing but C and E. So both are non-visited. We have to take only one node. So I am considering C and pushing it onto the top of the stack. Next, we have to repeat the step again. Uh, we have to check the adjacent vertices of C because C is at the top of the stack. So the not visited vertex of C is adjacent vertex of C is E, F and G. 
So let us consider E as a uh, node to be visited and push it onto the top of the stack. So note that we have uh, shaded all the nodes which are visited with green color. Now E is at the top of the stack. Consider the adjacent vertices of E. So E, the adjacent vertex is uh, D, A and B. So already A and B are shaded. So what we have to do? We have to consider D. So F is also a non-visited vertex, but we are considering D. So D is shaded and uh, pushed onto the top of the stack. So next for D, we don't have any non-visited vertex because for D, we can consider either A or E. So it is already visited. So what we have to do now, we have to perform backtracking. So backtracking means what? Popping the element at the top of the stack. So I am popping the element at the top of the stack, which is D. D is popped. So backtracking means go back to E again. So at the top of the stack, we are having E only. So it is going back to E. Next, we have to consider E at the top of the stack. So we have to check whether any unvisited non-adjacent uh, vertices are there for E. Yes, we have. That is F. So we have to push F onto the stack and consider it as visited. Now F is at the top of the stack. So consider F and uh, adjacent vertex of F will be C and G. C is already visited. So consider G, which is not visited. Uh, so we make it as visited and push it onto the top of the stack. So the result of uh, pushing G onto the stack is reflected here. So now almost all the nodes are considered as visited. Now at the top of the stack, we have G. So for G, the adjacent vertices are C and F. It is already visited. So visited means what we have to do. We have to perform backtracking. So that is what we are going to do in the next step. So pop G from the stack. So after popping G, F comes at the top of the stack. So if we see from F also, we don't have any non-visited vertex. So we have to pop F also from the top of the stack using backtracking technique. So this is the result of popping F. And uh, next is uh, we have E. So again, for E, we don't have anything. So pop E also from the top of the stack. So next we have C at the top of the stack. C is also not having any unvisited vertex. So pop C from the top of the stack and we have B. So pop B also from the top of the stack. And finally we have A. A is also to be popped from the top of the stack. So all the nodes have uh, been removed and it is empty now. So once the stack is empty, we'll have a final result of DFS traversal, which is given here. So while generating this, we have to remove all the unused edges. So we can see that these are all unused edges. So all unused edges are removed. And then the final spanning tree is generated. You can see that there is no cycle in this graph. So that is what we call it as a spanning tree because we will not be having any loop or cycle. So that's all about uh, depth first search technique. In the next lecture, we'll see about uh, breadth first search. Thank you.